Hello and welcome to Pokemon Diamond. Monotone, mono, mono challenge, mono run, whatever you want to call it. This episode will be counting as the number one episode. Last episode we just kind of got done with the beginning because the beginning of this game is slow as heck. So what we're going to be doing is playing this game. And we're going to be doing a mono run. And guess what Pokemon type won the mono run. That's right, it's our lovely flying Pokemon. We got the most votes there. I believe it was four flying and three bug, and we had a ground, a dragon, a normal, um, and a few more. But it seems like flying had the most votes, so thank you so much for submitting the votes. And we're just gonna go through the beginning of this game real quick. Um, yeah, so I think I looked up a little bit at least of the flying Pokemon in Sinnoh, and I believe there's like maybe- oh yeah, I want to talk to this guy. I think there's like 12 flying Pokemon all together, <laughs> so this will be a little bit of fun. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time, so if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Thank you for that information. I have not played any Pokemon game ever in my life, and I never would have guessed that the grass is what brings Pokemon out. Thanks so much, goodness. Alright, if your Pokemon's health, if your Pokemon's health, that it's, its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Oh, okay, well, um, I think I'll be okay just because I haven't really started the monotone yet. Oh my gosh, Bidoof. Get out of here, Bidoof. Flee from battle. But anyway, I guess I should explain the rules a little bit. The rules will be in the description. So if you don't know what the monotype run is or the rules I'm following, then please read the description. It will be there. Now, I'm not going to worry about these battles because I don't get to use Turtwig. Nope. Once I, f once I get Pokeballs, I got to start my monotype. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Did you know that Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go into the medicine pocket of your bag. Obtain the potion! Alright guys, so this is so exciting. So anyway, I was going to talk about the rules. I am so distracted. It's no joke, anyway. So, the monotype run is where I can only use one type of Pokemon throughout this whole game. And let's see how far I can get is pretty much how it goes. So, like I said, you guys voted on flying type. So, that means I can only use flying type throughout this whole game. And depending on what I run into, I believe, like we did, we ran into Starly. Um, let me just get past this first. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor's waiting to see you. See, this is our Pokemon Research Lab. Well, just we'll just go ahead and... THUD! What the? Oh, it's you, Sparky. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Aw, oh, it doesn't matter, Sparky. I'm out of here. See you later! What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Okay, because we've all seen the beginning of these Pokemon games, it's pretty much the same. I'm sure Professor Rowan is going to give me a Pokedex and ask me to complete his childhood mission. So what I was saying about the rules is I will be using Flying Type throughout the whole part of the game. Um, like I said, it's how I'm going to set it up is if there's going to be a Flying Type in the route, I am able to catch it, but if there's more than one flying type, I have to only pick one of those flying types. Um, now it's going to be the same rules as the Nuzzlelock. If the Pokemon dies, it's dead forever. Um, if I lose, it's a game over. And I can only catch one Pokemon per route, or one flying Pokemon per route is how I'm going to set it. Um, we also, we can, you know, we have unlimited Pokemon piece, or Pokemon items. Uh, what else is there? You know, I don't have any special rules set. I'm just going to be running through the game with the flying Pokemon. So pretty much as long as I can keep my flying Pokemon alive, then this game will go pretty smoothly. But if I cannot... Oh, why did I say yes? What did I say yes to? What did I... 
Oh, I got the Pokedex. But if I cannot, then of course it's a fail, and we'll move on to our next. Now, I'm really sad at what happened to Ruby. If you guys didn't see that last episode, please go watch it. Um, but mm, pretty much we got annihilated. So this is going to be the next step here. So I just want to thank you guys so much for the votes, by the way. Um, I wouldn't have been able to s decide what Pokemon I would have got. So I probably, I was thinking of choosing normal. But that means I would have to use Bidoof in the beginning. And I don't like Bidoof. I really don't. Goodness. Okay, so there goes Lucas. Now... Mm. Oh, here we go. Hey, Sparky, I wanted to show you a few things. So follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. Oh, this music is amazing! Ah, like I said, I've never really played Pokemon Diamond or Pearl. I think I had it as a kid, but I don't really remember, to be honest. Um, maybe played about 30 minutes of it from what I remember. So whatever's past this route at the very top of me here, I don't, I don't know anything past that, so... Yeah, this is going to be a grand old adventure. Now, I don't even know when we get Pokeballs, so... When I do get Pokeballs is when I'll be able to catch that flying Starly. That's what I'll get to catch. Also, another rule is I cannot have duplicate Pokemon, so... Oh, look, you can buy Pokeballs. Cool. Let's buy ten Pokeballs. Okay, let's buy seven of them. Just because... Potions... Two... Because I can only use one Pokemon, this is going to be quite hard. So I got to I gotta stack up on items. They're going to help a single Pokemon. Let's see here. Alright, so now that I do have Pokeballs, though... Wow, that's kind of weird, though. Usually they don't have you buy them at the beginning. Usually you obtain them from somebody. So, huh. Alright, here's the Pokemon Center. Let's see, guys. So we need to go back and talk to our... Or do we have to go up here? Because we have Pokeballs and everything, so why would we have to go back to our hometown? Sparky! Did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? I bet you didn't, did you? I know that you're eager to see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you upped and left. Oh, my mommy wants to know that I've disappeared! Let's go find her! Uh, I don't think there's anything down there, so I'm not going to bother to talk to anybody. Is that terrible or what? I should be exploring the caves and stuff, but I, I don't. It's against my religion. Okay, so here we are back in Twin Leaf. I gotta remember these places' names because I have no idea. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, Sparky. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a qu quick rest, dear. Mom, I'm going on an adventure! What's up, Sparky? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Okay, I know, Sparky. I've got something that you'll find useful. We got a journal! What's a journal for? That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Sparky. I'll be alright by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things you and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Wow, I don't think our mother has ever been involved in these kind of games- in Pokemon. I feel like she's much more involved in this game. Anyway, excuse me, is my little Marcus here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What do I do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Sparky will deliver that to him. Thanks, Mom. What if I totally didn't want to do it? I don't want to talk to that kid. He's nuts. But it looks like we got a parcel. And with a parcel... Um... We have to deliver it to Marcus. That crazy, speedy kid who wants to put me in debt at the beginning of my adventure. Gosh. Alright, here we go. Route 201. So let's... Route 201. Holy crap. 
Let's hope we run into a Starly we didn't, so let's see what else we have. Alright, let's run into a Starly, guys, because we obviously know that Starly is going to be the first Pokemon we get. And I am so excited to say that that will be the first Pokemon we get, because I love Star... I've never... <laughs> I've never used a Starly, but I love the way it looks, and I love its, um... There's one! Starly, level 3, a girl. I love its... Its... Style, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so let's tackle it once and hope we don't destroy it. Oh, you growl me, Starly! I see how it is! Whew! Alright, he's a tough cookie. We're going to do one more tackle so we can get his health down a little bit lower. And then we're going to throw one of our Pokeballs at it. And hope we catch and obtain our very first Pokemon. Now I do have to nickname all of my Pokemon. Wow, this thing is a brute. Oh, it's because he's using Growl. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Oh. Oh, and then I kill it. Turtwig! You suck! I was trying to catch that thing. All right, well, that didn't work as planned. Let's try this again. <laughs> Man, I wanted the, the the girl one. That's not fear. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, tackle. You are cursed, you Starly. One more tackle. There we go. And let's throw a Pokeball at it before he makes me more mad. Man, this diamond game really has some fancy graphics. I'm kind of liking this. I have to say, I'm liking, I'm liking the, the touch screen. Really, Starly? You're a level three, and you're at the beginning of the game, and you didn't get my Pokeball? Oh. But like I was saying, it's just... Whew, it looks really nice. I really like this. I haven't... <laughs> I feel like I skipped from, like, ruby all the way up to black and white, so... I totally missed this middle part. I guess this is where they got... They started, like... The items and I don't know the the layout. I just I like it. I like it. I like heart and gold though because the touch screen is much more manageable. You can use it a lot more. Anyway, here's our starling. It's a starling Pokemon. Normal flying. Um, they flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Why don't we name it? I know what to name it. I actually name all of my bird Pokemon this, so I thought. That I would name. Let's see. How do I lowercase this? Ah, there we go. I thought that I, I would name my very first bird Pokemon this. Riser. I don't know where I got this name from, but it it's it totally happened. All right, so we got our first Pokemon. Um, I can't do duplicates, so I cannot catch a Pokemon in this route anymore. So let's go deposit our Turtwig into a box that is totally untouchable. Heal our Ricer and end the episode. So let's see here. Just want to thank you guys so much for your support. So much for the likes and the comments and everything you do. Um, without you, I obviously wouldn't be doing this because there would be no point. But So yeah, it's really cool. Thanks so much, guys. Let's just drop off our Turtwig. Oh, look at that fancy bottom screen. Let's see. What do you do? Select a box. Markings. Okay. Okay. I don't I don't know what that means, but let's get our party Pokémon. And here you go, Tortuga. You can just sit away. You have to go in here because I can't use you. Um now I am able to use HM slaves. So, I, just to make everybody aware, I will probably have other Pokemon besides bird, but I can't use them. Anyway, so it looks like we did it, guys. We got our very first bird Pokemon, Miss Ricer. Mr. Ricer. Whoa, what's this cool button do? Oh, that's cool. And then I can click on these. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, he's got a high attack. Wow. And a very good speed. All right. Anyway, guys, before I get any more distracted, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I really hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye.